And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Howdy folks, today we're taking a look at Spurs, A Tale in the Old West. A Tale in the Old West! Talk about a theme that is not done enough in games. All these games. I got trading in the Mediterranean games, I got space games, I got fantasy games, I got games about Rome. Do you know how many Western games I have? Very, very few of them. And I know it was a very short time in human history, but it was an entertaining and makes such a great theme. Okay, but is this game, which is the first game from Mr. B Games, is this game an excellent game? Does it give me the theme of the Wild West? I hope so. Let's look. the board that players will be playing on, each player is going to have a different character that may or may not look familiar. The cowboy, the bandit, the hunter, the lawman, and the gunslinger. Each of these has shows how fast they move and a special ability here at the bottom and then shows what bullets are in their bag. Brown bullets are rifle bullets, silver bullets are pistols, and blacks are misses. So if I was the gunslinger, I would take the two browns, the three silvers, and the two blacks and I would take these tiles, you can see them, with those and put them in a black bag. There's a lot of other setup things to do, which some of it involves taking terrain tiles that match the back of the train and placing them in different spots around the board. Each player is going to take a figure and has a color base, you know who you are, and place it in a different spot on the board. On your turn, you're going to move. You're going to roll a number of horse die equal to your card. See, the gunslinger rolls two, while the cowboy here rolls three. Let's say it was the cowboy, I would roll three dice and take the two highest, and that's how far I move. In this case, it's four. If I only roll two dice, that's the number of spaces I can move on the board. You can move on the board, and wherever you move, if you move into a town, you can do different things. If you move onto each of these different tiles, you can do different things. Or you can move into another player and have a duel with them. Now, whether you have a duel with another player or you have an encounter on a board, many of these encounters and things involve drawing bullets. Let's say, for example, that you met up with this outlaw here on the board, and you're going to fight him. What you're going to do is you're going to draw three bullets from your bag and you need one silver bullet to take this guy out. So I do that. I get my bag here, and I reach into it, and I pull out three bullets, and ha ha ha, I got the guy. I got one missed, but I still managed to take him out. If I had been fighting this outlaw, however, which has three silver bullets on it, that would be much more difficult. They also show you how much reputation you get, so I might want to try to take this guy out. Now, if I lost to this outlaw, I have to put a red bullet in my bag. Red bullets are really annoying because when you draw them, nothing happens. Now, you can get rid of red bullets by going to town and drawing two bullets from your bag and healing those bullets, or you can um, pay $5 a piece to get rid of those bullets from the bag. Another thing you can do on the board is you can go and fight a desperado. Now, desperado, you need to, this guy you need to beat, or else he does one red bullet to you. But this desperado, and I only draw one desperado card, is a card. So here I might be fighting a vengeful Italiano, or I might be fighting Horseface Hugo. These are kind of random guys that you will fight and have to take out. And if you take them out, and you've captured these guys. There is also, sometimes you will get to a gold mine. Now in a gold mine, you're gonna be drawing from another bag. And in that bag, you have different stones in here. So you draw, ooh, I just drew a whole pile of gold. But this bag is not full of just gold. There are many stones that are worthless in here. So in this case, on that gold tile, I draw two, so I pull out two and I did not get any gold nuggets. Had I gotten gold nuggets, I would be able to keep them. Now the reason you want to take out these guys and do all this is because you can go to town and you can sell gold nuggets for $15 each. You can um, collect ransoms, so if you've captured outlaws and you're not one it yourself, you can become one it by attacking other players or doing things that will cause you to become one it. 
Um, that, that can be problematic, but you can collect ransoms. You can go to the saloon and buy a round and or draw a saloon card. When you buy a round, you're basically just giving yourself a point. Drawing a saloon card has all sorts of things that can happen. Gambling, a rifle shooting contest, more gambling, a horse race, uh, a bounty hunter that you might have to fight. So there's different things that can happen in the saloon. And you can go to the store where you can buy or sell goods. Each town has the, the store where you can go. Here are the different goods you can buy. If you buy a saddle, you add one to your movement. If you get an improved revolver, you get rid of one of those black bullets and then place it with a gray one. Or training just adds an extra gray bullet to your bag. Here's an improved rifle, which replaces a black bullet in your bag. Here's targeting, which adds another gray bullet to your bag. Oh, that's another same thing. There's another training. A pickaxe lets you draw an extra one when you're digging for gold. And sometimes you have a chance, this improved ammo, to put a white bullet in your bag. When you draw a white bullet, it counts as either a gray or a brown. There's a few other things in the game, some different things. You can go out and hunt animals, which can get you money and points for taking them out. And you can also round up cattle and ride a horse. For both of these, you're going to be using this mini board here. Uh, when riding a horse, you will place some obstacles, depending on some random factors, that you'll place some obstacles on here. And then each turn, you're going to be rolling these blue movement dice. Now, these dice are really hard to see, but they do have arrows on them. There you go. And they'll show how you ride the horse. And if you manage to do it, so you don't hit one of these boulders or go off the board, then you've completed that quest. The cattle rounding is similar, but you'll start with some random cattle on the board in different spots. And you have to basically round up those cattle and make it so that they're all touching each other at the end of the round. And if you do that, you will complete that task. Then, of course, the most fun thing in the game, which involves fighting somebody else. When you fight somebody else, you take your bag in one hand, you take your other hand, you put it back, and then you say draw, and it, without looking, you're going to reach into your bag, that was the gold nugget bag, you're going to reach into your bag and pull out bullets as fast as you can. And the first person to place out bullets to take out the other person is the winner. You need two of those silver bullets. As soon as you do that, you shout bang, and you take out the other person, and you can steal something from them if you want. Of course, that gives you a want it poster. Or you can collect, and you collect fame for taking them out. Very entertaining and very fun. Anyway, fame is tracked over on this little board over here, which is near a whole pile of different tokens you can see. And depending on how long you want the game to be, should standard game 10 points or long game 15 points, Whoever gets there first is the winner. Well, yeehaw! This game most certainly gives the theme of the Wild West. Yes! I mean, this game, you're pulling. You, every time we do a duel, we stand up and we're pulling the bullets out as fast as we can. There's a lot of Western accents being done. You're going around arresting outlaws. You can go and rob the bank if you want to. Of course, it gives you a want-it poster. Um, you can go, you say, hey, that player's want it. I'll take him out. And the game is just full of Boosh. Oh, I love it. But, okay, there are some negatives. First of all, paper money. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know that some people like paper money, and I'm not a big fan of paper money. But this is, sadly, the worst paper money in any game ever. I'm not kidding. You can't tell the difference between the denominations and... It looks like it was photocopied on paper. Terrible paper money. In fact, all the components of the game, they're not subpar, but they could have been so much more. Oh my. Just the thicker tiles, the, the board itself looks kind of like some guy did Photoshop and made different terrain types. I don't know, it could have looked so much better, I think. That being said though, it's not like it's terrible quality and it certainly does fit the theme. The artwork is great, love this. You know, taking off the old spaghetti westerns, different things from them. I enjoy that quite a bit. So we know theme is great. Components are okay. Not that, that great. You know, the dice aren't that great either. How is gameplay? Well, gameplay is good. Like I said, it brings out the fantastic theme. And if you are theme first guy, then you're going to really enjoy this. If you're gameplay first guy, then I think you're going to have to try it out to see. Because there are some great things. Either pulling the bullets out is good. It's, it's uh, mitigation. You can figure out you know, your odds of your chances of taking different people out. You can go around and chase people around the board. The different cards help you out. That all works out well. 
Some things don't work out as well. The, the rounding up cattle is kind of a weird mini game in this. And the riding a horse, less so, but still, those are almost, I almost wish those weren't included. I'm like, huh, what do I shoot in this round? No, you're rounding up cattle. Okay, but it just kind of pauses the game and does like this weird mini game, which I, it was, it's okay and it's fun, I guess. It just wasn't as interesting as the rest of the game. But man, the robbing the banks and going around and dueling other players, I would just play the game if, if they said, you're just going to duel players for 15 straight minutes. I would do it. <laughs> but I mean, I like going around and finding better weapons and going out and hunting a coyote or, or getting mauled by a coyote. It's, it, it, this has just a lot of great flavor in it. So how do I recommend this game? Well, that's very simple. Do you like the Wild West as a theme? You do? You said yes? Get this. He said, I don't really care about theme, I'm looking for a game, then don't buy it. Really, that's where this is. If you love the Wild West theme, this game does a superb job of doing that. If you don't like the Wild West theme and you take the theme out, there's, the game here is decent. It's fun and there's some good things to it, but it's the theme that brings out. Because the theme is layered into this very thickly and does a great job. So anyway, that spurs a tale in the Old West. Yeehaw! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Boop. Boop.